Welcome back to another video, and here is a history of the forgotten Mopar brand, DeSoto. DeSoto was a brand of the Chrysler division, founded by Walter Chrysler in 1928, and this brand was used to compete with Willys, Buick, and Hudson. The 1929 DeSoto, which was the first one, was a 55 horsepower 6 cylinder, and later, the 70 horsepower 8 cylinder was created in 1930. Everything looked about the same until 1934 when the Chrysler Airflow platform was introduced on the DeSoto. They got the idea from when the old body style was driven backwards across America. It had better aerodynamics. Eventually the Airflow was not popular anymore, so in 1935 the Airstream was introduced and I have to say it looked really good. From the front of the doors forward, it was very long. Also in 1942, DeSoto's had hidden headlights, which looked great, and had a very large grill. The hidden headlights were eventually gone, and the lineup had convertibles, cars, and station wagons with different trims. From 1950 to 1960, these cars had the Fire Dome V8 with 160 horsepower, and this was a Hemi. In 1953, DeSoto cars looked very good, with more smoother body panels, and they still had the Fire Dome engine. Also in 1956, a sporty adventurer came out, and it was two-toned with tail fins, and it even had a Hemi with 320 horsepower. And in 1957, the lineup was very large, and there were some issues with the cars, like leaks in the roof, windows, and transmission problems and power steering problems. And some more things like that. And one thing I noticed is that all DeSoto's even two doors are really long and they have tail fins, large chrome grills, and that's why they look so good. Especially in 1960 when the front ends had a large round grill with two headlights on each side. 1961 got an even better facelift with tilted headlights and a rectangular grill. And 1961 was the last year of DeSoto. And another thing to mention is just like Dodge, DeSoto also made trucks. Basically all they were was DeSoto badge Dodge pickups, but they are very rare and looked great. So DeSoto was a really awesome brand and they always had a good look to them. And now for the second part of this video, the Fargo brand. This was also another forgotten Mopar brand and it started in 1913 as Fargo Motor Company and ended in 1922. The Fargo brand name was then brought back by Chrysler in 1928. So 1928 was when Fargo, DeSoto, and Plymouth started. Fargo was just a truck brand, and just like Dodge and DeSoto, there were Fargo badged Dodge pickups. Fargo trucks lasted until 1978 when the brand was dead. So from 1928 to 1930, Fargo's had the radiator with, with the headlights on each side, but from 1931 to 1947, the fenders were round with headlights on top of them. In 1948 to 1956, they were way different and had flat fenders, and most of them were step sides. 1957 was the best looking with a facelift. The headlight area was not fully round, instead, the bottom was flat. 1958 was different again and had four headlights instead of two. Then there was the 1961 to 71 generation with a few facelifts, and these are my favorite. And they even made a Fargo Dude. Fargo, Dodge, and DeSoto made semi trucks and dump trucks also. 1972 to 1978 was the last generation of the Fargo Truck Company. And that's a history of the two forgotten Mopar brands, DeSoto and Fargo. I really like these brands, and it's too bad they're really rare. And it's also too bad that they were canceled. See you next time.